Praise the Lord. I welcome you to this special session tonight. And I pray that the specialty in this session and the sacredness in the session, I pray it will be transferred and transmitted to your soul in Jesus' name. And the victory that Jesus brought on Calvary, that victory will come to your life. You want to rise up now as a mighty army of the Lord. That tonight, every foe and every enemy will be conquered in your life and family in Jesus' name. Tonight, we came to have the victory. Victory over the terrible enemies and the lives of the children of God. And I want you to get ready and prepare yourself. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. That tonight will be your night of victory. Your night of deliverance. Your night of dominion. It's a follow-up of what we lunch in the morning. Putting down all the strongholds in your life. Tonight we come to complete everything. Victory. Deliverance. Dominion. Authority and power. You will run, you will not steal. You will walk and you will not finish. This is the day of His power. And this is the time and the period of victory for every child of God. Moving on, moving on, going on to victory. All enemies defeated. All adversaries overcome. That the Lord will give you tonight the spirit of the conqueror. That no giant, no beast, no enemy will be able to stand before you. Victory tonight. Victory tonight. Victory tonight. Tonight, the Lord will finish what we have begun in the morning. And every form of weakness still remaining in you. Every form of defeat still remaining in your life. Tonight is the night of victory and deliverance and dominion. Conquering the giants, defeating the enemies, pulling down all those strongholds. Tonight is that night. In Jesus' name you pray. Say this with me. Tonight I have total victory. Tonight everything still remaining will be destroyed. Tonight I have victory over all my enemies. I will conquer. I will overcome. I will rise up and move on with the spirit of the conqueror. In Jesus' name we pray. Every Father, we come tonight. We thank you because of the great work you started in the morning, pulling down the stronghold in every life, in every family. 
in every ministry, in every church. And Lord, tonight we come to complete the defeat of the evil one. And we pray that your victory and your power, the anointing, the authority will flow into every life tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all those who are lying down in defeat, they will rise up in victory tonight in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that those who have been running away from the enemy, they will stand and turn back and run towards the enemy and engage the enemy in combat and defeat the enemy tonight in Jesus' name. I pray for the young, for the old, for the children, for the parents, for everybody in the church, that tonight will be the night of victory for everyone. Victory in our business. Victory in our personal lives. Victory in our families. Victory in the church. Victory in the day and victory in the night. Confirm it, O Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. We can see that. Tonight we come to consider the message together with the ministration of the Son of Isaiah. The message that's one, the ministration that is two. Because something is going to be ministered to your life tonight. You hear the message, you receive the ministration, and you will never be the same again in your life in Jesus' name. Victory over the great, terrible enemies. Notice what I said. I didn't just say three enemies now. What you have on your program is victory over the great three enemies. But now I'm changing that word three. And substituting the word terrible. Because what if they have four enemies? What if they are five? What if they are seven? What if they are one hundred? Not only three, no matter the number tonight, you will bring every one of them down. Victory over the great, terrible enemies. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, he shall roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Your enemies are God's enemies. Anybody standing against you is standing against God. And all the enemies of God, they're going to be defeated in Jesus' name. Here it tells us that the Almighty God Himself, with great power, supernatural power, that He will go forth as a mighty man. He will stand all people the jealousy like a man of war. He will cry, yes, He will roar. And then it says, He shall prevail. He will prevail over all his enemies and tonight is the beginning of that victory in every life in Jesus name Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 Isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment that shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, says the Lord. As you come to the Lord through Calvary, and Jesus Christ was learned over and over now, He died for us on the cross of Calvary. And because of that crucifixion, because of the shedding of His blood, we have redemption, we have reconciliation. We have righteousness and the riches of the kingdom, they belong to us. And then it says, because your righteousness is of it, no weapon that is fashioned against you shall ever prosper. Every tongue that tries us all speak against you, all of them, they will be conquered, they will fall to rise no more in Jesus' name. Isaiah 59 verse 19. Isaiah chapter 59, reading from verse 19. 
So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, where the enemy shall come in like a flood with real torrential force and with real great speed wanting to swallow you up, wanting to sweep you away from your feet. Wanted to destroy you and to defeat you when that enemy shall come like a flood. The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up his standard against him. I will drive him back from you in Jesus' name. Victory over the great, terrible enemies. I divide the message to three points tonight. Number one, deliverance from the terrifying enemies. The enemies that terrorize you, the enemies that terrify you, and the enemies that try to torment you, tonight is the night you are going to walk out in victory in Jesus' name. Deliverance from the terrifying enemies. Number two, defeat of all tormenting enemies. Do you know we are going to destroy them tonight? Do you know we will march over them tonight? I will conquer them in Jesus' name. Defeat of all tormenting enemies. Number three, dominion over the terrible enemy. Dominion over the terrible enemy. We come to number one, which is deliverance from the terrifying enemies. We're looking at Exodus chapter 23. Exodus chapter 23, and we're reading from verse 25. Notice every word because the word spells out your victory, your dominion, spells out that you're going to overcome without any shadow of doubt. Exodus chapter 23, verse 25. It says, And you shall serve the Lord your God, and you shall bless thy bread. And I water, and I will take what sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their yaw, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Now look at verse 27. I will send my fear before thee. I will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. Give a good amen. There the Lord said, He will touch you and heal you if you are sick. And there the Lord said, He will fulfill the number of your days. Not only that, He said, All the enemies that shall rise up against you, the way they came, that's the way they will go back. He says he will turn them back away from you. It will be so in Jesus' name. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 27. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I mean it from verse 27. Then he returned every man of Judah and Jerusalem and Jehoshaphat to the forefront of them to go again to Jerusalem from joy. You'll go back home with joy. As we finish this retreat tomorrow by the grace of God, your cup will be full and overflowing in Jesus' name. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. Going back, you'll be celebrating. Going back, you'll be singing, and a song of praise will never leave your mouth in Jesus' name. It says, they now went back again to Jerusalem with joy. For the Lord has made them to rejoice over who? Over their enemies. What the Lord did for them, the Lord will do for you. When the battle started, Jehoshaphat was so much afraid. And he said, oh Lord, we don't know what we're going to do. By the time everything ended here, we are told he rejoiced over his enemies. And all of those terrifying enemies 
that you'll be shaking the knees and shaking the mind and trembling before them because they were terrorizing you. At the end of the meeting tonight, you're going to rejoice over those enemies. And they came to Jerusalem with subtrees and harps and trumpets unto the house of the Lord. And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. The Lord fought against the enemies of his people. And God has not changed. He says, I am God. I change not. And Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday and today and forever. And like the Almighty God fought against the enemies of Joshua and Judah, the Almighty God will fight against your enemies in Jesus' name. So the realm of Joshua was quiet. For his God gave him rest round about. You are going to have peace. You will have rest. All the hurrying up and down, running to and fro, wanting to hide and seek, seek and hide. And you have been hiding away from those people terrorizing your life. All that running away and running around, all that is gone. I said all that is gone. You will stand your ground and it is the enemies that will run in Jesus' name. Psalm 18, 1, 8. Psalm 18, reading from verse 17. He delivered me from my strong.